Hey, what's going on, Pokey people? I am Pokey Mike, and today I want to help you to be able to set up your own stream recording for Pokemon card or whatever card openings you want to do. Today I want to show you how to record Pokemon card openings. Now, maybe you have started watching within the past few years people like Leonhart, Pokey Rev. And uh, you feel inspired to start doing your own Pokemon card openings. Uh, I did that about a year ago, and now I have about a thousand followers on Twitch, and I'm working my way up on YouTube. Uh, so if you want to learn some of the things that I've learned along the way, just stay tuned in the video, and I'll help you along. So the first thing I want to show you is the equipment that you will need to get a good stream going. Now to do really start with the basics, you're going to want to use your smartphone as a camera and recording device. Uh, that's probably the easiest way to get started and you could just start by setting up your camera on a stand and recording the card openings just like that. Uh, you don't need too much more to get started, so that's the main thing. Just get going, start practicing opening cards while recording yourself and that'll get you more comfortable and in the swing of things and see if this is really something that you want to continue doing. Now if you want to turn it up to the next level, you're probably going to want to invest in a face cam as well as the card cam so that people can really see you as an individual so you can really be unique and not just be a card camera without any personality. So I would recommend getting a webcam, uh, something that you could attach to your laptop or your computer, and uh, at least something with 1080p recording. Uh, you can find a lot of webcams right now. I'll, I'll leave some links with some uh, possibilities that you can do. Uh, these webcams are probably going to be around 50 bucks. Uh, nothing too crazy. If you do want to step it up to the next level, you could get a actual camera like I'm using now. I have the Canon EOS 200. That's going to enable you to record some more high quality camera footage, but not really necessary when you're just starting out. What I would say is more important is to focus on audio quality because uh, that overall is going to shine and be more important to the viewer than uh, the camera quality itself. So what I would recommend is to get any USB mic at least. There are some pretty good ones out on the market right now. If you look on Amazon, eBay, uh, for a USB microphone that connects straight to your computer, that should be good enough to get you going, get you started. Uh, however, I use a condenser microphone. This is a recording microphone, studio studio quality, <laughs> as long as I don't break it. I have attached it to a little microphone holder that I got on Amazon. Uh, this microphone is a Rode NT1A, I believe. Um, so these are going to be a little more expensive. You also need to buy a audio box, which will basically allow you to connect a microphone like this to your computer. So you might be able to find bundles, uh, probably $150 to $200 if you look around. Again, I'll leave some links for some, some good options for you if you do want to uh, give your audio a huge upgrade to get things started. Other than that, your other main device is going to be your computer. That's what you're going to use to record, like I'm doing right now. To actually record this video right now, I'm using OBS. It's a free program that uh, you can download and it's actually how many people choose to stream their content. So if you're looking to start live streaming your openings, you want to use Twitch, or YouTube, whatever the case, you're going to want to download OBS. There is Streamlabs OBS and then there's OBS Studio. Uh, we won't get too much into the differences today, but uh, either one will do the trick for you. However, if you are just using your phone, you could simply press the record button on there and then uh, you can uh, edit probably just on your phone and uh, get your streams uploaded that way. So guys, that is really the gist of it. Um, I would also recommend getting a cheap pair of headphones you can connect to your computer or your audio device so that you know when you're playing music, it's not gonna bleed back out into your microphone and cause distortion. Um, but yeah, that, that really kind of is the gist of it. This is the phone stand that I use to 
lay my phone at a nice angle and get the card openings. And uh, obviously, besides that, you just need the cards uh, from wherever you want to get them, really. The online shops or Walmart, Target, whatever you want to do. Um, but I hope this helped, guys. This just covers the basics to really get you started uh, to be doing what you want to do. If you have some uh, advice on what you want to see in the next video or any things I could help you out with, let me know in the comments. I'd love to help you out and I'd love to get some more ideas for some content that I can start putting out. Uh, so thank you again for watching, guys. Make sure you check out my live streams at uh, twitch.tv slash pokemikeofficial if you want to see how I'm doing things. And uh, hopefully that can inspire you to uh, try this out for yourself. But anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a subscribe, like, comment, and uh, ring the notification bell like everyone tells you to do. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you soon. Later.